Hi guys! Welcome to um, a combined April May favourites. Um, apologies for not making a video. Um, yeah, life's got in the way again. I'm sorry, you know, it always seems to be my YouTube channel that suffers, so I'm sorry about that. But I promise I will try harder. I always say that, don't I? Anyway, April May favourites. Um, there's a lot of products that's fell into this uh, these couple of months. Lots of things I liked, so it's been really hard to narrow the narrow things down that I've absolutely loved. Um, a few things I'm missing that if you read my blog you might have thought would be there, but they're not. But as I say, loads of things I've liked and it's been really hard narrowing down. We'll start off with body products. First thing is something that I was sent by my pure I regularly do uh, reviews for a site called My Pure, and this was one of the products that I got. It was is the Yester Tomatoes Purifying Shower Gel. Oh my god, I love this stuff. For a start, look at the size of the bottle. It is huge. This is 500 mils worth of shower gel, so that's a hell of a lot of shower gel. It smells amazing. If you like the smell of Elemis Milk Bath, um, anything like that, then you will love this product. Um, it's, for, it's for combination skin, so it contains tomatoes and watermelon to target those evil pore clogging oils. I do, I'm prone to a little bit blemishes, a bit oiliness on my back, and I really think this has made a difference. But don't think if you've got dry skin you can't use this. This is so gentle, it's untrue. It's an amazing product. I love it. Um, I think this is about £5.99, £7.99 for this size. Well worth it. Love it. You can use it in the bath as well. Um, I've done a full review of this, so I'll put that on below. Right. Before we go any further, I'm going to take my cardigan off because it's actually a bit warmer in here than I thought it was. Never mind. It's supposed to be summer, but yeah. <laughs> we, I think we've got about four days of sunshine and the rest has been rain and what have you. I mean, honestly, watching the Jubilee with the poor Queen going down the river and the Royal Philharmonic and all that and the rain, just not good. She's 86. Why did they make her do that? Never mind. Anyway, so that was my first product. Um, my next product is something I purchased at the beginning of April and it is the Body Shop Divine Calm Serenity Milk Bath Powder. Now if you've watched my videos for some time you'll know that I love the Body Shop Divine Calm Shower Gel. Sort of a combination of lavender, chamomile and so on. And this is the bath product to go with it. As you can see I've used quite a lot. It's basically what it is, it's just a milk powder. I'm led to believe it's soya milk. Oh, and the smell is amazing. It's really strong and aseptic, lavender, chamomile. It's really nice. Um, I've been using this um, if I've had a bath before I go to bed. And it is lovely and it leaves your skin really nice because of the soya milk. And literally it scents the house out. You really don't need very much. But um, yeah, I love that and I'll definitely repurchase that one. Right, next bottle body product is something else that I was sent. Apologies in advance because there are a few things that I was sent in this. But I mean, as I say, there's no guarantee when you sent a product that you like it. But I've been quite lucky over the past few months and I've been sent a few things that I've really liked. Next thing is the Ahava Dead Sea Salt Softening Salt Scrub. That's what it looks like. It is basically, it's a body scrub. That's what it looks like it's it's amazing texture really what it is it's almost as if there's a body butt out with salt crystals mixed in with it put it in my hand so you can see and it's really really moisturizing um it smells quite similar to this actually again if you're a fan of elemis milk bath the soft sort of powdery scents then you'll like this um it's amazingly, I mean, you can see the gleam on my hand just where I've rubbed it in. The salt crystals are quite small, but um, it does give a good enough scrub. It smells amazing. I keep going about the smell, but I love the smell. Um, if you've got dry skin, this will be fantastic. You can use it, either do a dry scrub with it, put it all over your body before you get in the bath and shower, and just let it melt off, and or... You can just do, do what I do if I'm being really lazy, lazy and use it while I'm in the bath or shower. Um, it probably doesn't work as well that way, but it still does the job. I love this product with all my heart. Um, as I say, I've been using it non-stop since April and that's all I've used. So that you get a lot for your money. The only problem is this is £26. Um, that is the only thing that would put me off buying this, um, the price. But I really love it and it, it, it is lasting for a long time. 
only thing I would say if you're gonna if you were fake tanner don't scrub with this straight away and then go into fake tanning because it, it will leave a little bit of a sort of oily moisturized residue on your skin but 26 pounds not sure I can justify a purchase but I really love this next product is a bit of a funny one we all get these gift sets for Christmas um, most people do the boot sets well what I got um, boots when did they do the gift of the week before Christmas it was a, a travel bag a patent travel bag and you got a lot of French connection it was French connection and you got a lot of the French connection body products in it um, my godmother got me it for Christmas and and I, I couldn't think of and never basically I've never used it I've never used it yet I used the bag but I hadn't used the product but I was looking for another body spray and I found this this is the FC UK signature body spray accessorize your body with a fruity oriental fragrance I love this I really really love this the rest of the products in the range smell exactly the same so I can definitely see myself repurchasing from this and um, previous French connection scents I've tried were just a tiny bit aquatic a bit sort of um yeah like watery scents like cool water things like that and I wasn't to be honest a fan but this is nice you can sort of smell vanilla tones oriental flowers and so on this is really really nice um i don't know how much this is separately but i'm not even sure you can get this separately i'm definitely going to be looking um but you can get the rest of the fc uk signature products um and i believe they do a fragrance but i've never actually seen it so i'm definitely going to be looking at it because i really like the smell of this very nice i'm useless at describing smells but i really like that anyway let me say by how much i've used already and you only need a couple of sprays Right, that was the body products done with. Now my first kind of makeup product, eyelash curlers. Now, I've got a full review of these on my blog, um, but I have to say eyelash curlers are one of the parts of my routine where I'm really lazy. It's very rare that I curl my eyelashes. Um, yeah, I just it's just not something I do. It's just something that I can forget about. However, I was sent these eyelash curlers and they are by the Cosmopolitan Beauty line. Um, and I've been using them, I'll just use them to test them out and I'm really surprised at the difference they make. Now I haven't actually used them today because I haven't actually put any mascara on. Don't ask why, long story. But these are amazing. Um, the difference they make when I curl my eyelashes to when I don't, is it's just fabulous because what it does it's basically opening my eyes up. I'm 34 now. You've missed, I've missed my birthday in the time I have made videos. I'm 34. And whilst I haven't got any major wrinkles or anything, I'm starting to notice a little bit of, I don't know, darkness. My eyes aren't looking quite as bright as what they were around my eye area. So I've been using these and they've really lifted my eyes. They're just amazing. As I say, I've got a full review below and I think these are only about £3.99 in Superdrug and I think Tesco sell them. So I would definitely recommend these. Um, I've often hummed and hard about the Shuramura ones, but not gonna bother. These are good enough for me. And you get two spay rubber, the rubber parts with them as well, which is brilliant. Next product is something I got for Easter. Um, my mum always buys me uh, some sort of Easter present as well as an Easter egg. I think this stems back from the year, a year I was diet, they were trying to diagnose food intolerances linked to migraines and I couldn't eat chocolate for about four months which was absolutely bloody hellish because I'm the world's biggest chocolate um, so it started buying me prezzies for Easter instead and this year she got me two bits from the MAC in the Extra Dimension collection now that's the, just about the only MAC bar couple of things from the CCO that I got for my birthday um, it's just not wowing me anymore MAC I'm afraid I think I'm well and truly gone beyond so this was something she got me and this is one of the extra dimension eyeshadows in modern beauty as, as you can see i haven't i've used a bit of it but i haven't got hard to break into the curvy design but i'll do a swatch for you how beautiful is that it's like a sort of pewtery but you can see the sort of taupey tones in and silver um they're not quite as soft as i thought they would be but they are really really pigmented and i'm really enjoying using these um i'm not sure if they're still going to be available now maybe if you ask at your mark counter or they may pop up on a cc or i don't think they're online anymore because 
hair sale or etc and everything's on so i don't think you can get these maybe try the goodbye section of the website and you might still find these but i really like this shadow and to be honest i wish i got a few more but um i was actually sent a product last last month yet yeah, i was sent a product in may which is supposedly a dupe of this product um so i'm going to do a comparison post um on my blog about this and the so-called dupe so we'll see how uh, they perform and you never know it might pop into next month's favorites the dupe but definitely like that extra dimension eyeshadow mac in modern peter next three items um i know you've definitely seen one of them before and i'll start with that chanel illusion de ombre in emma Beale. um this has been one of my lazy person's makeup thing as you can tell it's i'm actually getting sort of near the bottom now but i'm sort of peeking it up a bit but um i'll do a swatch but you've probably seen it before there it is there it's sort of peachy pinky gold I'm wearing it now and this is one of those things that I've just thrown on when I can't be bothered to do anything else. Um, I've thrown this on as an entire colour wash over my lid. It's when I've been going out, I've had a few medical appointments and things where I've had to get up quite early for. So I've just put this all over my lid and I just think it's really, it's really, really pretty. It's a really pretty colour. Love these. Are they worth the money? In my opinion, yes. Um, I got Epiton for my birthday and I'm really loving Epiton so far as well so that might appear maybe in my June favourites but definitely my favourite out of the ones I've got is Emma Veal, definitely. So loving that and I'm also, what I've been wearing that with if I've gone for a blush is actually a cream blush. Now I know what I normally go for cream blushes in the winter when my skin's a little bit drier, a little bit being the operative word, it's not never that dry but I've gone, been wearing a cream blush partially because it's, it looks so nice with the eyeshadow um, and the colour is, it's by NYX NYX and it is the Rouge Cream Blush in 02 Natural that's what it looks like and as you can see um, you don't need very much I've just been applying this with my fingers to be honest to do a little swatch it's sort of a peachy corally pink but I mean, what I've been doing is say putting it on and then just blending it down. And I just think it's really, really pretty. Um, we can get NYX in the UK now. Um, they've got a website. Um, I don't think they're particularly cheap. Um, if you could get stuff from the US, I'd still say it's probably more worth it than buying it from the UK site. But um, I like these. I've got three of these shades and I definitely I like these blushes. I'm, I'm actually a big cream blush fan, which is surprising considering I do have an oily skin. But I'm getting back into them big style. I've also been wearing a Topshop one in flush this month as well. But this one stood out and um, natural by NYX. My final product is another item by Chanel. Now I'm gonna have I've written this, I've written some things down so I know what this is. Where is it? It is called Chanel Rouge Chanel Rouge Allure Lip Lacquer and the colour is Empire. Now, I've been having a look around to see if it's still possible to get these. And some of the websites, Debenhams and Garden Pharmacy no longer have these, this entire line. Um, but um, Boots do, so I don't know. I think this, this colour was a limited edition, but I don't know about the formulation. I love the formulation. I'm wearing this now. The colour is Empire. I believe it was one of the, win the winter collections. Eek. Right. And see a little doe for applicator. I'll swatch it there. Oh, I've probably used about three pounds worth on my hand. Eek. That's what it looks like. It's sort of a watermelony sort of pink shade, and it is lovely. Um, it's not drying. It doesn't feel drying on the lips at all. Um, a little bit more. I hate putting things on when you can't see what you're doing. Yeah, I'm hoping that hit my lips, but. I love this product. Um, I first found it on a on a blog. It was on somebody's blog, um, just before Christmas, and I actually got this for Christmas, and it is lovely. There's definitely a few more colours in these. You get quite a bit of product for your mini as well. You get six mils, nice and thingy, and of course it's Chanel. Love this product, Chanel Rouge Lip Rouge Allure Lac in Empire. I think there's a colour, couple of other colours that I quite like. But this is definitely still available on the Boots website if you're interested in that. 
so that was my um april me favorites bit sort of as i say a bit squished down i've like lots of products this month in these two months uh, a couple of foundations and things i've really liked um yeah a couple of more makeup products that i've loved but i've narrowed it down to those um i hope that was useful um i hope that you found that interesting maybe not <laughs> um i'm back i'm definitely back on youtube um i've got a few more videos planned um the obligatory room tour will come at some point i can't say when yet i'm still not sorted i'm still moving things around um i've also got a monthly haul i'm gonna i'm starting to do a monthly haul on my blog so i'm gonna pop that on here as well so it uh June's will include this necklace um so yeah um if you have any requests anything you'd like to see um yeah leave me a comment let me know um as i say i'm trying to get back into youtube big style and um, the lighting's obviously a lot better now it's the summer so i'm hoping to get a few more things done so leave me a comment let me know don't forget to check my blog out um as i say i've got a review of quite a few of these things on my blog already um and obviously but by all means follow my blog leave us comments on there as well let us know what you'd like to see on there as well um and by all means follow me on twitter i'm lulu699 on twitter um i'll put a link below because i don't think i've got one on my youtube channel anymore i took it off when i was having some problems with twitter but it's back um lulu699 i tweet prolifically so by all means let me know um tweet me tweet me uh, tweet my mum says are you tweeterers no ma'am it's twitter not tweeter us anyway so thank you very much for staying with me thank you very much for my new subscribers um, i've noticed there's quite a few of you um have been subscribing while i haven't been making videos so i really do appreciate that thanks for subscribing thanks for watching and i'll hopefully see you soon with another video bye